Let me show you some code. So far, we saw in a previous video a generator made iterator can output values. It's also possible to send information back into that iterator. The yield keyword may produce a value provided by the argument of the next method. So, G is a generator and IT1 is an iterator made out of G. We start the iteration with next and get R1, which value is 11. The next call to next will resume the iterator, but we may also give an argument, 21, to next. 21 becomes the value of a yield expression, so the stop variable is now equal to 21. The computation of the iterator continues and yields 42, that is, 2 times stop. We resume the iteration with next of 98, so the second yield expression has 98 as value and the wool iterator returns 99 as the final value. Generator creates iterators with additional methods. Besides the next method, there is also the throw method and the return method. Consider the second generator named genum, which produces endless iterators that enumerate the natural numbers starting from start. The throw method here takes a value 10 here and goes to the place of the associated yield here and resumes the iterator by throwing 10 from that place. So in this generator the catch clause here will capture the 10 as the exception, reinitialize the start variable and then start again to try to yield that expression. So we get 11, we get 12, etc, etc. The return method takes a value, 99 here, goes to the place of the associated yield expression and resumes the iterator by returning 99 from that place. So now the generator is exhausted and the enumeration stops at 99. Let's see the result. Here it is.